praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time. Let's just rise for tonight, special night. It's a night of prayer um, for the special program. For those who are watching online, we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you join us tonight, it's a special night for us that we come together in the presence of God and just worship and give him praise. So for those who are here, for those of us who are here, let's just raise up our hands and just tell him, Lord, we thank you. This is it. This is the night. We thank you because you have programmed this night for us to come and meet you. We give you praise. We thank you. You are the reason for being here tonight. We thank you tonight because you are going to hear us. Even as we join our voice together here. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we know you are here. We give you all the glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. Mare bakahuri kahilari kashida. Ladandoro bakahilarabo. Masubre kehilari kashida alayande. I kaboroboko robo kosobre kehelayanda. Andere kaboroboko robo kuriala. Rika sikiyande. Rebo kuriala bakayanda riyalaba. We thank you. We give you all the glory. Maseke yande. As we pray together for the move of God. For Christ's compassion crusade in the country of Nigeria. Lord, we thank you because without you we can't do anything. That's why we are here tonight to cry to you. We give all the glory. We honor your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. You know, the month, this month thing, which is in 2 Chronicle 29 verse 36, which is thus Ezekiah rejoice, And all the people, because of what God has prepared, for the people for it was done suddenly look it wasn't done suddenly they've done a lot of things before it happened suddenly so that's why we're going to prepare tonight that's why we're going to pray it does not just happen suddenly glorious thing is going to happen in the country of Nigeria concerning Christ's compassion but as we come here tonight hear this let me quickly go a few things because God is a covenant keeping God he will always fulfill his part of the project. But what about us? Hear this in verse 3 of that particular verse, which is the set man of God declare, which is verse 236. In verse 3, Ezekiah opened the door of the house of the Lord, which his father has closed and repaired them. He didn't just, he repaired them, he opened it. And in verse 11 of that particular verse, he said, my son, do not now be like negligent. Do not, for the Lord has chosen you to stand in his presence, to serve him, to be his ministers, and to burn incense to him. That's what Ezekiah has done before 29. And lastly, verse 15, they gathered their brethren and sanctified themselves and went in as the king has commanded by the works of the Lord to cleanse the house of the Lord. They've done all that. And glorious thing happens suddenly. So tonight we are going to tell him, Father Lord, that which we are going to do will be acceptable unto you. Lord, as we come into your presence to offer our sacrifice of praise concerning that crusade in Nigeria, you will hear us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It will not going to be just a program. It will be that which you, the Lord, has planned tonight for those of us who are here. Lord, as you pray for sudden move of God in the country of Nigeria, the Lord will do sudden things in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let's join our voice together and tell him, move in our midst tonight. Like never before, we give you all the praise, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lastly, before that sudden move of God in verse 31, then Hezekiah said, now you have consecrated yourself to the Lord. Come near and bring sacrifice and thanks offering unto the house of the Lord and the assembly brought in sacrifice and thanks offering and as many as were of a willing heart brought burnt offering and finally verse 35 also the burnt offerings were um, in abundance and miracle happened suddenly God is a covenant keeping God 
So tonight you are going to tell him in the name of Jesus. As we pray concerning that crusade, as we offer our sacrifice of praise, the Bible says you inhabit in the presence of his people. Tonight the prayer will come forth. Tonight thanksgiving will come forth. Tonight, Father, you will show yourself mighty and strong in the midst of your people. Even in Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. So let's join our voice together and tell him, Lord, show yourself mighty and strong. Let our worship tonight be acceptable unto you as we come to cleanse ourselves, as we come to offer sacrifice of praise in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory. We honor you. We cover tonight's service with your blood. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Let's put our hands together as we worship. Welcome to the worship team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God praise tonight. We're here to give him praise and glory and honor because he's deserving of all our worship tonight. Father, we bless you. So even before we begin to pray, let's lift up our voices in thanksgiving. Let's lift up our voices in praise. Father, we worship you. We thank you, Father. We come before you with thanksgiving. Amen.
reward of worship he deserves. Hallelujah. Let's say God our Savior.
and global family. This is KICC, the home of champions. Let us all gather at KICC Prayer City to lift up the upcoming Christ Compassion to the Rural World Crusade before the Lord. Come along and invite others to pray for the Lord's mighty visitation to hold during the evening service, the Night of the Prophetic and Fearless, on Sunday the 5th of November. 
Time, 6pm. Get ready for this year's unmissable KICC's Winning Women Convention with the theme, Thrive. Come and learn how to balance all of life's demands on you as a woman of faith. Join our host, Pastor Yemisi Ashimaloo, alongside these remarkable women of God who'll empower you with the word. Heal every area of our life emotionally, financially, physically. You can't serve God and mammon. You will love one and despise the other. What do you see when you have a situation that requires victory? The devil, he forms things. So when you wake up, you will intercept. Thank God there is no altar higher than the name of Jesus. Featuring sessions in business careers, health and well being, family matters, image consulting, and lots of exciting interactive activities. There'll also be a business fair and networking opportunities. Date Thursday 23rd to Sunday 26th November 2023 at KICC Prayer City, Buckmore Park, ME5 9QG. Sessions start times Thursday 6.30pm, Friday to Sunday 10am daily. The convention comes to a grand finale with the Sunday night of celebration. Featuring Emmanuel Smith, Julia Doe, the Winning Women Mass Choir and lots more. Crash facilities available during the daytime session only on Saturday 25th November. Save your place now by scanning the QR code or at winning-women.org.uk. Admission is free. For just £150, you can showcase your business or service to attendees at the Winning Women Convention 2023. Spaces are limited and are on a first-come, first-serve basis. Please contact the sales team today at events at kicc.org.uk or please telephone 020-8525-0000 or you can register your interest at the reception desk today. Order your t-shirt or polo while stocks last to avoid disappointment and prices are £10 for the t-shirt, £15 for the polo shirt. Last day for ordering is Monday the 13th of November. So log on to winning-women.org.uk to place your order. The KICC Music Department is extending an invitation to all stewards and members who would like to join the Winning Women's Choir. If you would like to be part of this special choir or were part of the choir last year, please send an email to music at kicc.org.uk. A special call out to all the men. Please step forward to support the Children's Church by volunteering your time and skills during the Winning Women's Convention. If you would like to volunteer in any capacity, please collect a King's Kids volunteer form from the reception or send an email to kings underscore kids at kicc.org.uk indicating your name and contact number. Required dates and times Sunday 25th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Sunday 26th 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Venue here at KICC Prayer City. There will be one joint service on Sunday the 26th of November on the morning of the Winning Women Convention. Are you ready to elevate your pursuit of God, to listen to empowering messages anytime, anywhere, with ad-free streaming? Then look no further as the highly anticipated launch of KICC Radio is here. Please Follow the details and instructions on the screen now to download the app and you can start listening today. Please share, follow and like as KICC Radio spreads the gospel through its inspirational messages. If you would like support or advice on your CV, interview skills or the next steps in your career, contact KICC's Career Counseling Team for a one-to-one -one support session. To book an appointment, please email career underscore counseling at kicc.org.uk. Christmas Connect 2023, The Wonders of Christmas. A Christmas carol concert. Join Pastor Matthew in conjunction with the churches together in Medway for this year's Christmas carol concert 
with special guest Nikki Gumbel, primary school carol singing competition, Salvation Army, community choir and the KICC choir and more. Start the festive season with the Christmas concert. Bring your family and invite your colleagues, friends and neighbours to enjoy a special evening of music, mince pies, teas and coffee. Date Sunday the 10th of December, venue KICC Prayer City, Maidstone Road, Chatham, Kent, ME5, 9QG from 6pm. There will be a free return transport service from Wix, Newcut, Chatham, ME46 AA from 4.30 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. and from North Greenwich Bus and Tube Station, the O2, London, SC18 from 4 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. Do you want a powerful start to your day? Why not connect with us? At the altar of the morning glow is the way to start the day with god morning glow is also a place where you possess possessions take territories and make deposits of prayer into tomorrow before tomorrow comes may you be blessed today in jesus name command your mornings with declarations of faith pray with the confident backing of the word connect and agree in prayer with thousands from around the world Receive unfailing prophecies. Join us live and invite others to connect on all KICC social media platforms. Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. The Morning Glow, a unique place to encounter God. Kingsway Bible Institute. Why not enlist to become a member or a steward in KICC by joining the baptism membership and stewardship classes which are held online every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Please send an email to kbi at kicc.org.uk to receive further information. There will be no evening service at KICC Prayer City ME5 9QG on Sunday the 12th of November. Well, that's all for today. God bless you as you continue to fellowship in the Father's presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, someone. Amen, amen, amen. It's an exciting night to be here. I would like to really, really welcome you to this special night of prayer for the crusade christ compassion for the to the rural world hallelujah you are in the right place and we're going to pray someone say we are going to pray hallelujah we are going to pray you know and just to let you know what we are going to be doing tonight i want you to just join me to Go to Matthew chapter 14. I'll read a few scriptures and then just usher us into a time of prayer. Matthew chapter 4. You know, when, when I was thinking about this, the theme or the, the, the title of this crusade, Christ's compassion to the rural world. It means something is coming out from the heart of Christ through our senior pastor. Matthew chapter 14 verse 14 says, And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. So Jesus saw a great multitude. It did not phase him. It did not move him. What transpired inside of him was compassion. And as a result of that compassion, he healed their sick. The sick will be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew chapter 15, verse 30. Matthew 15, verse 13 says, And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. Again, multitudes, thousands coming for this crusade, but there will be healing in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 15, verse 32. 
2 verses 9 says, And Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now on three days and have nothing to eat. And I will not send them away fasting lest they faint in the way. I'm sure you know now that there are so many strands of this crusade. There shall be prayer, there shall be salvation, there shall be healing, there shall be provision also. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Jesus is not only interested in the moral thing, so we're going to be praying that things will happen at a global scale. But also look at Matthew chapter 20, verse 32. And Jesus stood still and called them. These were two guys passing by and said, What will ye that I should do unto you? They said unto him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. And Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. And immediately their eyes received sight. In other words, something will be happening in mass, but also at the individual level. The Christ's compassion will reach out to people and heal them and deliver them, and minister to them. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Many of us are joining for this prayer night online, across the world, KICC, everywhere. We're not able or opportune to be there. Some of, my, some of us might still be going. But for those of us who are here, we will not be left out. We are going to take part. You know, I remember the story in Second Samuel chapter 11, verse 11. This was Uriah, and he said unto David, The ark... And Israel and Judah abide in tents, and my Lord Joab and the servants of my Lord are encamped in the open fields. So how can I then go to my house to eat and to drink? So we know even though we're not there, we're going to be part of it fighting, we're going to be part of it triumphing and holding forth. And I want to read that, the last scripture. Many of us are familiar with this. There was a battle with the Amalekites in Exodus chapter 17, verse 11 and down, I'll just read verse 12 and verse 13, and we'll begin to pray from that. Verse 12 says, But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat thereon, and Aaron and her stayed up his hand. And Aaron and her stayed up his hand, and one on the, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hand were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. In other words, we are here to uphold and stay the hand of Pastor Matthew until we have victory in this crusade. Are you ready for that? Is that why you're here? I want us to stand up as we invite our brother, Pastor, hallelujah, Joseph to lead us in the first set of prayer. Hallelujah. I want you to stand up boldly, ready to take Victory, hallelujah, machete keribaba, hallelujah. We will stay the hands of Pastor Matthew as he does this work in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Pastor John. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we stretch our hand towards heaven? Bible says in Psalm 65, verses 1 and 2, Praise waits for thee, O God, in Zion. Unto thee shall thou be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Begin to magnify the king of the universe. He was, he is, he shall ever be. Our father, our master, our king, our lord. We worship you, we praise you. We honor you, we appreciate you. Thank you, holy father divine. It's a privilege and it's an honor to be part of this great event. Christ's compassion to the rural world. We thank you for the privilege to go to the world, to touch the needy, to minister to the to the needy, to bless and to bring people to the presence of Christ. We thank you for this honor. We magnify you and we praise you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God's people, I'm going to look at the side of the blood tonight. I'm going to use passages that are not new to anyone in this place. You are acquainted with this. Exodus 12, 13 and Revelation 12, 11. Exodus 12, 13 is the place it stood. He said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Exodus 12, 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. 
and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Revelation 12, 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, by the word of their testimony. We are going to stand on the side of the blood. You can use the blood of Jesus as offensive weapon. You can also use it as a defensive weapon. I like us to start from the defensive weapon. Like Pastor George said, people are on the ground. As a matter of fact, one of our pastors called me from that, I mean, from, from the ground yesterday. And we were talking, no, sorry, on Friday. Pastor Boye. Pastor Boye said when he got to Lagos, went to CCRW site. By the time he got there, 500 pastors were there praying. Everybody was touching things, moving around. Some technical people were setting up things. So we're just moving and getting ready. From prayer department, our own department, we, some people left this morning. Some people are leaving this evening. So people are ready. I'd like us to pray right now. There will be a great deal of commuting. People moving from here to the airport. Airport to the country of Nigeria. Within Nigeria, there will be a great deal of movement from the hotel to the ground. I'd like you to begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Begin to release the blood for protection, for preservation for provision begin to play the blood they overcame him by the blood by the blood of jesus and by the word of their testimony he said when i see the blood i will pass over you cover them with the blood Pro pray for their protection we forbid accident we forbid evil of any kind we forbid the attack of the devil satan shall not prevail against the church of jesus Begin to plead the blood. It's for protection. It's for protection for everybody on ground. From Pastor Matthew to all the pastors there. To the workers, the technical people, the drivers, the doctors, the nurses, the pharmacists. Everyone on ground. Begin to pray for them. Total protection. We have drivers that will bring. The, they will be bringing people from villages and towns to the place. No accident of any kind. We release the presence. We release the glory of God. We release the anointing of God. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We must not fool ourselves. Bible says that where you find the carcass, that's where eagles will gather. If you look at Job chapter 1, Bible says that when the children of God, when they gather together, Satan was there as well. But Satan cannot hide from God, from the all-knowing one, the omniscient one. And like us to pray, we know he will send his own agent there, but we are there before him. Christ is there before him. Holy Spirit is there before him. I'd like us to plead the blood one more time for protection for everybody, for preservation of lives, for beat accident, for beat evil of any kind. The glory of God rests upon this meeting. CCRW, it will be to the glory of Jesus. It will be to the glory of God. There shall be no death. There shall be no accident. There shall be no evil. In the name of Jesus, he said, no evil shall be for, shall be for you. And no disaster will come near a dwelling place. We cover CCRW with the blood of Jesus. There are people traveling from UK tonight to Nigeria. We cover their journey with the blood of Jesus. There are people on ground already. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We cover the equipment. We cover everything that we use. We cover the food that we give to the people. We cover the doctor's equipment. Everything is soaked deep in the blood. We thank you, Jesus. We magnify you, Master. We give you glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The people of God, they gathered together, but Satan showed up. He always liked to get crash to the things of God. He's, he, look, Satan has no regard for anything. Anything holy, anything sacred, Satan has no regard for it. This is why you must be on fire. This is why you must be ready to use the blood against the diabolical being. We are going to pray right now. We are going to use all the equipment. People will be traveling from villages and towns. There will be box, buses hired to bring people to the place. There will be no stampeding. There will be no attack of the devil. We'll be giving food to the people. There will be no food poisoning. The doctors will be operating on the people. There will be no mistake. There will be no accident of any kind. Begin to use the blood. Begin to use the blood. Begin to use the blood. Total protection. Upon the equipment that we use. Upon the people that are coming. Upon the ministers of the gospel. Upon Pastor Matthew himself. Upon everyone coming to support this ministry. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We say they are protected. In the name of Jesus, oh, we thank you, Holy Father. We magnify you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Right now, we're going to pray the prayer of Jude. 
We all know that Job is only one chapter. Jude, I think it's about 25 or 26 verse. Jude said, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. You and I are going to pray. Pastor Matthew, all the pastors, all the workers, all the drivers, everyone there, unto him, holy God, that is able to keep everyone from falling. Begin to present them before God. Present them before God. Present Pastor Matthew before God. Present the pastors before God. Present the doctors, the nurses, the pharmacists, everyone working, the drivers, the technicians, begin to present them before God. Unto you that is able to keep us all from falling. We present ourselves. We present ourselves, Holy Father Divine. Mako sateye yeke proma moka. Yakode yeke proma kota yega. Iye kende yeke proma ko sataya. Kateye yeke proma kotoya. Iye kagada kaka proma mokaso kotoyege. Iye kaga mako sataye. Yeke broma mokaso kotoyembo makode ye. Jesus, we present this meeting unto you. Protect your people. Preserve your people. Provide for your people. Unto you that is able to keep all of us from falling. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Moving to John 6, 44. Jesus said, No man can come unto me except the Father. No man can come unto me except the Father which has sent me. Draws in and I will raise him up from I mean I will raise him up. I will raise him up at the last day. You and I will pray. As good as it is that we're going to look after the poor, give them food, clothing item, doctors will be operating on people, pharmacists will be administering medication. Those are brilliant, those are good. Bible says that Jesus went about doing good. Those are good. But the main thing about this program is for people to come to the knowledge of God. It's for people to be saved. It's for them not to go to hell. It's for people not to perish. That's the, that's the business of the church. That's what the church of Jesus Christ is all about. But you and I cannot save a rat. You can't even save, you can't even save a fly. It's only Christ that can save. He said it there. No man can come unto me except the Father draws him. You and I will begin to pray. Look, if you are not part from, if you are not from that part of the world, the metropolis of Lagos. Lagos is about 20 million. I mean, people, I mean it's a city of about 20 million people. Now, this center, this Ikorodu area is actually like, the, like a suburb of Lagos. So people will spill from that place. People will go to that place. But it will take only God to save them. Not you, not me, not Pastor Matthew, but God. But God, that's what Christ is saying. I'd like you to pray. Holy Father, draw people to your son. Draw people to Christ in their hundreds, in their thousands. Bring them in, Holy Father. Save soul. Save soul. That's the main thing for Christ's compassion. We pray tonight, Holy Father, from every part of Lagos, from every part of that state, even from every part of Nigeria, or from every part of Africa, if you want to widen the net. We pray that you bring soul to this program. Save them, Holy Father. Save them, Holy Father. We pray tonight. No man can come to Christ except you draw them. We pray that you draw people to Christ through this program. We pray that you save life through this program. We pray that you touch life through this program. Help them to stand. Help them to stand, Holy Father. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The program of God is not for you to just go out there and just bring people in, then abandon them. It's like going to the, I mean, to going to the river. You catch a fish, play with the fish, and just put it back in the water. Then it will swim away. He said, make a disciple of every nation. Make a disciple. The purpose of this program is to go out there, bring people in, but there are local churches around that will work with CCRW to disciple these people and make sure they remain. You and I will pray tonight. Holy Father, as, we bring, as you bring these people to Christ, grace for them to be discipled. Grace for them to be discipled. For them to stand in the name of Begin to pray, God's people. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. As we go out looking for these people, fishing to bring them in. We pray for wisdom for the local churches that are joining. We pray for everyone around working with CCRW to disciple these people. That these people will remain, they will stand. They too will go out, begin to fish for Christ. They begin to fish for Christ. We pray tonight. 
let it happen holy father we present them to you we present every pastor everyone working with us we thank you jesus in jesus mighty name we pray pastor matthew already told us there's so many churches in the area working with kicc one thing i found from the church i mean from the book of god is this there was a king in Israel. His name was Amaziah. Bible says that Amaziah loved God. Amaziah served God. But without a perfect heart. Any pastor working with, KI, working with CCRW in this program, Father, give them perfect heart. No ulterior motives. Not carnal motives. No wicked motive. Not evil motive. Let them serve. Not like Amaziah. Not like King Amaziah. But like the servant of the Most High God. Let's begin to pray for this kind of people. It says the harvest is white and ready to harvest. But we must pray for the laborers. We pray for the churches that will be working with KICC. That you give these pastors and leaders the heart of Christ to work with, K to work with CCRW. The heart of Christ for them to walk with this with, with, with CCRW so that the name of Jesus and only his name will be glorified. We thank you, Holy Father. We bless you. We appreciate you. We honor you. We adore you. We magnify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You know, since the beginning of this program, I mean, since the time Pastor Matthew announced it, we've been praying different kind of prayers in, in prayer department. Starting from people who are not part of that country, but traveling from the Western world, the visa for them to get there, everything will be working fine. We've been getting videos, we've been getting pictures from non-Nigerians that travel there, that they got there, said everything's okay, but we're going to pray God's people. They will be in the hotel. They will leave home, they will leave the hotel in the morning, go to the side, they won't return back until late. It's not the safest part of the world. So you and I will pray over their belongings. We are going to pray for them. Total protection for these people. They are belongs in the hotel. The food that we eat, everything begin to cover everything with the blood one more time. The blood of Jesus. The protection of their properties. The protection of their lives. We pray for their journey to and fro from the hotel to the ground. We pray that God will be with them and protect them and preserve them. The glory of God will be seen in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Holy Father. We magnify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As I'm rounding up, God's people, he said in his word, Job 22, 28, you shall decree a thing, it shall be established unto you. I don't know what Holy Spirit has placed into your heart this time around. But I like you, let Holy Spirit lead you within, I mean, a few seconds that I have. Begin to speak in the language of the Holy Spirit. Begin to pray over this book in the language of heaven. Makode yeke proma kotoya. Yeke broma mokasa kateyembo makode. Yekende yeke pro katoya gada. Iyekega makosa teya. Yeke broma mokaso to yenge. Ye broma ka mokaso te yenge. Iyekebo makosa taya. Kateye yeke broma kote yenge. Iyekebo makosa taya. Makosede yeke broma kota yaga. We worship you. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Put your hands together. Let's welcome Pastor Wally. You can do it better. Make it louder. Make it better. Make it better for him. Hallelujah. Let's raise up our hands and just tell him, Lord, we thank you for the first part of the prayer we thank you you are god you have ears you can hear us we give you all that glory you are the reason for being here tonight thank you jesus thank you for men and women thank you for what you have done for us already in the first part of the prayer let's just tell him lord we give you praise thank you jesus Rebo Korea Laba Kahila Rika Shida Elende Embro Rika Kabaraba Kasiki Yende Hirabo Korea Laba Baba Baba Lord we give you glory Rebo Bobo Robo Kosobre Keke Yande Hika Yande Rialaba We thank you we bless you In Jesus mighty name we pray with thanksgiving In Jesus mighty name we pray with thanksgiving Hear this you believe because we are going to decree we are going to prophesy Believe God that that which we join our voice here today will manifest. 
in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he sent forth his word. His word healed them. Not for us only to come together, but we want to come together in one heart. Here it is in Romans 15 verse 6. He said that, Romans 15 verse 6, he said that together you may unanimously with united hearts and with one voice. Here it is. Praise and glorify me, God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you are going to tell him with one heart. You know, sometimes we hold our hand. We can hold our hand. Our heart might be different. We might be thinking something different because a preacher said, hold your hand. With the new one heart, we are going to tell him, Lord, we thank you. You are the author of this crusade, Christ's crusade, that you made one mind and we one mouth. Glorify God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ with one heart. Bible will not tell us to do it in one hand if he knows we truly have one heart. We don't. So in one heart we are going to tell him, Lord, we are blessing you in advance. For even the first part of prayer, we know you've already heard us. We thank you because you will prove yourself mighty and strong. Much more than we can pray, much more we can ask you tonight in the name of Jesus, in the brevity of our time. Father, Lord, we thank you. Let's raise up our hand and tell him, Lord, we give you glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you, Jesus, great and mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Hear this, when you say amen, if that one we do just now is for me, it's too much. But if it's for God, it's not enough. So let's just put our hands together and celebrate God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Genesis 7 verse 11, we want to pray for open heaven over that crusade. Open heaven. For the Lord, in Genesis 7 verse 11, in the year 600 of Noah's life, in the seven days of the second month, that same, Genesis 7 11, in the 600 years of Noah's life, in the second month, the seventh day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were open. The great deep, it was deep, then it was to destroy. Here, that place, in tomorrow from tomorrow evening throughout the period the great deep would open they must know something truly happened we want to tell him lord open that great deep but before you pray that prayer let's quickly jump to john 151 john chapter 1 verse 51 we want to combine it together we want to tell him that great deep you are going to open it bless it upon your people something must be unique something must change it must never just be ordinary crusade the life will never become the same anymore it has happened in that nation 1940 and in different parts of the world something happened up till now they refer back to it so this one is not going to be a crusade because there's a lot of money no it's going to be truly as pastor joseph said that the souls will save thousands will come to the kingdom in john chapter 1 verse 61 he said and he said unto him very verily i say unto you hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of the god ascending and descending upon the son of man we want to tell him lord let there be open heaven like never before we can see it angel of the lord descending and ascending to heaven we're going to say over that crusade father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let there be open heaven over your people in the name of jesus that which we are going to do christ crusade compassion crusade let there be open heaven we thank you for open heaven in the name of jesus Kayande embro kosobre karika sike hila yande yalaba. Let there be open heaven in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. You know, Pastor Joseph was praying. He was saying, when you have a glorious event like that, Satan also show up. You know, we said, which one of you that we want to go into the house of the strong man? You want to take something? You want to take a soul, and you think they will just allow you to do it? It's not possible. So we are going to pray. Before then, we want to 
Isaiah 49 verse 24 to 25. Isaiah 29 verse 24 to 25. You know, they won't let it happen. They are waiting. The man of God keeps talking about this. They are waiting also as we are planning. The man of God said here, he said, as we are doing it, they are doing their own. So we want to pray against every power assigned, different power, assigned against that crusade. That they want to close the heaven. They want to cause whatever they want to say. In Isaiah 49, 24 to 29, Isaiah 24, he said, shall the prey be taken? Isaiah 49, 24 to 25. He said, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive of the just be delivered? It's not just a simple thing to go and do such a thing. That is the purpose of this prayer now. And as you declare, as you prophesy, as you decree a thing, you have to believe God. That when you say it, it will happen. We are going to pray and tell them in the name of Jesus, that place will be no go soon for the devil. He said, but thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee. And I will save thy children. I know they will contend with thee. He said, I'm going to contend with them because they are powerful. They are in their own way. But you know, we have almighty, that's why we call him almighty. The great and the mighty one. So as God is doing it over that crusade, he's doing it in your life. He's doing it in your family. In the name of Jesus, you are going to tell him in the name of Jesus, it's no go so for the devil. Reba kayande, robo kosu breke hila yande, roba ba 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 ba. Yande rebo koso breke hila yande, robo bo bo kore kasi ke hila yande rialaba. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Listen, you can pick one or two words and use your own word. You are going to pray that we cancel. This is what is going to happen. This is what we are going to decree. We are going to say it and how we want it to be. We are going to. He said, look, at these bones live. He was saying, no, it can live, but I want you to prophesy it on yourself. I am not going to do it. I've given you power and the authority to decree that which you want to happen. So you are going to say, we cancel we reverse, we neutralize, we veto, we counter any demonic decree. We reverse it. We decree that demonic decree with ordinances, enchantment in the name of Jesus. Every plan, every ploy, every plot, every pronouncement over the program in Igbogo, Lagos, Nigeria. We decree, we cancel it by the blood of the Lamb. You will not stand by the blood of the Lamb. We cancel it by the blood of the Lamb. We decree it so shall it be. Reba kasakayandi. Rebo bo 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 bo. Yederi alaba. Rabo bo kori kasike yanderi alaba. Parabo kosunde. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. You remember Daniel case. God answered the first day. The man of God said people of God have been praying for so many long time. I'm sure so many people, but hear this in Daniel 10, verse 13. You know the Apollyon himself. He said, But Daniel 10, verse 13, he said, But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me for 21 days. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me for one for one and twenty-one days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me and remained there with the kings of Persia. So he said he was to. So we are going to come. We have more authority than the manker, which is the angel, the head of the angel. But for us, we have been given authority and power to pull and to do what? And to destroy that which we declare tonight in the name of Jesus. Every barrier, every obstacles on our way concerning our prayer, we pull it down tonight. In the name of Jesus, he said, we stood, no, we stood of our prayer. Rabba Kasiki Yanda, all the ancient power in around town be subdued. In the name of Jesus, Rabo Kosobreke Yande Rialabo, Rabba Kasaka Yanda Rialaba, Paurike Hila Rikashida, we subdue you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Remember what the man of God said concerning that two cities because of our time. He said there, it was there they killed so many uh, evangelists. So you can imagine, they are waiting. So we are going to pray all against all the ancient powers. They said, what are you coming to do? To take over, to take the people away? No, we are using them for our own purpose. So we are going to pray all the ancient power in around the town be subdued in the name of Jesus. 
we speak it for so shall it be all the ancient power we subdue you combine it together with this you are going to pray that every territorial forces every territory have their own forces don't they well we take over the forces every territorial forces and power that want to resist the word of the lord and help the people and hold the people of god down we destroy you in the name of jesus every territorial spirit we dispossess you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are coming to the end of this second section. In Psalm 24, verse 7 to 8. In Psalm 24, we are going to invite the King of Glory. So many people are invited all over the world, the pastor, the bishop. But the one we want to, to lead that group is the King of Glory himself. We are going to tell him, King of glory. He said, lift your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up. Psalm 24, verse 7 to 8. He said, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. It doesn't matter how long. And the King of glory shall come in. So in verse 8, let's move to verse 8. He said, who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. We are there to do battle. Let's tell him, the King of glory, we hand it over. Lead us to battle. In the name of Jesus, Rabba Kahila Ranyom Borobo, Kari Kasiki Yandi, Oribo Kosunde Yalaba, lead us to battle, Makayande Yalabo, Korika Saidike Hilari Koshida, Ayande Yalabo, Robo Bobo Bobo, Rebo Kosunde Yalaba. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, in Acts 6, verse 7, Acts 6, verse 7, this might be the night final prayer. Acts chapter 6, verse 7, and the message of God kept on spreading. Acts 6, verse 7, it said, and the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied. In Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. So we want to pray after the program. Children of God will multiply in that area in the name of jesus the light of god will light up in that place let's tell him father lord in the name of jesus we take them to the kingdom we thank you we bless you we give you praise in jesus mighty name the man of God has prayed that prayer, but I felt the last one, we have to repeat that prayer again. In Ephesians 6 verse 12, he uses another scripture. Ephesians 6 verse 12, he said, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. You know that? We are not contending. Ephesians 6 verse 12, he said, for we are not against wrestling not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rule out of darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in high places we want to tell him no matter how powerful they are we have almighty god we ban you in the name of jesus we shut your mouth we ban you whatever the group you call yourself we refuse your work in the name of jesus the king of glory is leading us to the battle uh, Satan and his ghost was bashed out of heaven. We bash you out of that ground in the name of Jesus. His glory, his goodness, we fill that place in the name of Jesus. Raise up your hands tonight and just give him all that glory. Hallelujah. Give him that praise. Give him the honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Give the Lord praise for answered prayers. Give the Lord praise for his mighty. Give the Lord praise for his goodness. Oh Lord our God, we bless your name. We are grateful, oh God. We are grateful, oh Lord, to you, oh God, Father. For with you all things are possible, oh Lord. Hallelujah. With your own voices this evening, just begin to lift up his name. Our God is the holy God. Awesome in all his ways. Hallelujah. Oh, magnify the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. Who is the Lord God mighty? He's our God. Mighty in battle, mighty to save, mighty our God is. Hallelujah, we bless your name, Lord, tonight. We thank you, oh Lord, for your mercies, for your goodness, oh Lord. We thank you for your awesomeness, oh God. We bless your name, oh God, with you all things are possible, Lord. We stand before you, Lord, Father, we know, oh God, that you, oh Lord, God, will lift us up. You will lift us up, oh Lord. And this evening we declare that you are holy, that you are worthy. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, let's lift up our hands and declare this evening. Oh.
hands together for the king of kings the conqueror the lord the deliverer the healer the savior 
Makara la kashete ribabu. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't stop and tell them it's a privilege to be part of this. No, no, tell them seriously, it's a privilege. If you are watching with us online, it's a privilege to be part of tonight. This is, this is, this is the most phenomenal, the most amazing, the most outstanding thing in the history of KICC. And we know also it's one of the dearest things in the heart of our senior pastor, Pastor Matthew. So it's a privilege to be part of it. We are not there live, but we are there in spirit. And I was thinking about tonight, and I was thinking about, you know, it's like um, the midwife there to make things happen. Or like the broker, you know, there's a lender somewhere, and there's a receiver, and you are the broker. So tonight we are the brokers, hallelujah. And we are the midwives, hallelujah. We are going to continue to pray. And we're going to get into the business of the day. You know, we've defeated the enemy. Bible says we've discomfited the enemy. But now let us begin to also go into the business of the day. Because great things will happen in Jesus' name. Turn to somebody and tell them, great things will happen in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 4 from verse 18. The Bible says there, Luke chapter 4 from verse 18, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, some of, are, some, some of us are sitting down, begin to stand up again, because this is the real, this is the real thing. The Bible is telling us here, that there is an anointing to do great things. This is not just a revival meeting. It's not a healing meeting. It's not a, it's a crusade. In other words, there is space and capacity for all these things to be happening at once. Bible says, because of the anointing, the gospel will be preached to the poor. The brokenhearted will be healed. The captives will be delivered. There shall be recovering of sight to the blind. Those who are bruised shall be set at liberty. And it shall be to some people the acceptable year of our God. Begin to pray that all these things, that there shall be an anointing for these things. That from heaven there shall be a, a package coming forth, delivering the anointing for the day, for the occasion, for each of these groups of people. Maroko bobo koshe te riba, leke se te robo bobo koshe te riba ba, he ye ke robo bobo koso to riba ba, he ye karama makase te riba bobo, makasha pa boko robo bobo, leke se te riba boko, makara la kase te riba bobo, leke se te riba boko robo bobo. Hallelujah! In Jesus' name we pray. We are talking about Christ's compassion to the rural world. Not Christ's compassion, you know, Christ is compassionate to all, but we're talking about to the rural world. The Bible is saying to us here that there is a particular kind of anointing that it takes to preach the gospel to the poor. Because the poor, the poor have their own needs to be talking their listening. But the Bible says to preach the gospel to the poor. Let us begin to pray that that anointing shall be present and abundant. That people may have needs, they may have concerns, there may be insecurity, but in the midst of all of that, the gospel will be preached. An anointing to preach the gospel to the poor. Upon Pastor Matthew, upon all the preachers, upon all the ministers. To preach the gospel to the poor. Oh, Yakaba Baba. To heal the brokenhearted. Mama Kashete Ribaba. Mama, the captive shall be delivered. 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 Makashata Ribaba. Complete order. Complete deliverance. Make a Shete Ribobo. Makarala Kasete Ribobo. Yeke Sete Ribobo. The blind will be will see. There shall be liberty to them that are bruised. Karika satari bobo, makasete riko bobo lokoshete, yeke sete robobo, makaraka baba kasete ribobo, haleke sete rio bobo, makasete ribobo. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Some of us know a bit about that part of the world. Maybe you're praying and seeing things online you don't know. But you see, there are so many cares. Bible talks about the cares of this world. People are cared about insecurity, about transport, about every single thing is a care. But despite this, there shall be an anointing that will deliver, that will set free. Bible says, set at liberty the bruised. Captives set be delivered. Hallelujah. Begin to pray. That despite the needs of people, they will hear the gospel. They will hear good news. There shall be deliverance. Beyond that which they can see and feel and think, they will hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so shall it be. Oh, packages from heaven, anointing from heaven, delivered, distributed, one-to-one. -one. Each person at their point of need. Each person at their point of bruising. Mama Kasata, at their point of captivity, there shall be deliverance. Maka Shete Ribobo. Marika Shete Ribobo Koroloshite. Yeke Shete Boboko Soto Ribaba. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. You are a mortgage broker. You are a midwife. Your baby shall come forth in Jesus' name. Your, your deal will be delivered in Jesus' name. Turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 17. And it came to pass on a certain day that he was teaching, and there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. There are a few things that are as Christ elevating as healing. I want us to pray that during this crusade there shall be phenomenal healing. That the Bible says that there shall be the power of the Lord present. When something is present, it is palpable. You can feel it, you can see it, you can see the effect. So let's begin to pray. Your power to heal. It says power. In other words, authority. Right. The healing has been signed. The authority to heal, the power to heal shall be present. Every manner of diseases, every type of illness. When the power of God is present, it will heal all. It will heal all. Bible says all of them came to him and they were all healed because he had compassion on them. Make a terrible Yeke sete robo boko shoto ribaba. Hallelujah. Make a sete ribobo. Oh, yeke ribobo bobo bobo bobo. Laka shata ribaba. Begin to pray for the operations on the medical side. They shall have human hands, but a supernatural touch. Maka sete ribobo. The nurses, the pharmacists, they shall be human beings, but they shall be angels of God, bringing healing because the power of God is there to heal. Maka sete ribobo. Mariko bobo. That's the business of the day to heal the sick, to deliver the captives, to set people free. Mama Kashete Bobo. The gospel being preached and received and conversion of souls. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, if you know there is victory, put your hands together for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the victorious one. Hey, we are still praying. Turn your Bibles again with me. Uh, this is a very interesting scripture. John chapter 4 verse 35. It says, Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you. Turn to your neighbor and tell them, say, tell them, I say unto you. Tell them, I say unto you. Lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white 
already to harvest. I want us to pray. I don't know about you. I, I'm not there. I might not be there. But I feel I have a, a right to facilitate some salvation of souls. So you and I lift up your eyes and see and behold in that crowd, in that multitude, begin to draw people into the kingdom. Begin to, begin to be the mediator. Begin to, begin to speak to the souls of the undecided. Begin to speak to people. Begin to say, come forth. Come into the kingdom. Mareke se teribobo, moroko se teribobo, yeke se terebobo, makarila ko se teribaba, yese terobobo ko se teribaba. Hey, ya kakako bobo ko bobo. Oh, you take a hundred, you take a thousand, you take tens. According to your faith, pull them in, pull them in. The harvest is ripe. Makase tereke bobo ko, makaraka se teribobo, yeke se teribobo, makasa taribobo ko rolo bobo. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray that prayer again. But I want to give us an example. If you know where, where I come from, when you see a, a mango tree that is ripe, full, all you need is just to push. Just to push. So begin to push tonight. As you pray, begin to push that souls will be harvested into the kingdom. Oh, in their tens, in their hundreds, in their tens, in their hundreds. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be a noise of clap of hands in this place that will shake the trees, that will bring forth the harvest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are part of this, oh God. We will have our blessings, our reward. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, let's pray. Let's, let's look at 2 Chronicles chapter 5 from verse 13. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting scripture. I will not read all of it. <clears throat> but it came to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord, and when they lifted up their voices with, one tr with a trumpet and cymbal and instrument of music and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endures forever. That then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. So the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. Why am I saying these scriptures? You know, this, if you know what a crusade like this is about, you can imagine equipment, transport, all sorts of things men are doing. But a time must come when men will stop and the glory of our God will fill the place. That is what makes the difference. They are no longer worrying about, oh, is this working? Nobody running around. But the glory of our God, begin to pray, begin to pray that the glory of our Lord will fill the stadium, will fill the place. The man will allow angels, the man will allow the spirit of God to take over because of his glory. Oh, begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Makasete. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Somebody shout out the glory of the Lord. Will fill this temple. The glory of the Lord. Will fill the stadium. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, my last piece I'll read and I will we'll begin to conclude this prayer. Acts chapter 4. Verse 33, Bible says, And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace, say great power, great grace. Great power, great grace. Great power, great grace. Great power, great grace was upon them all. Oh, as Pastor Matthew and all the pastors and all the leaders begin to minister, Bible says great power great authority beyond that of governments of nations of united whatever it is there shall be great power that will release great grace on that stadium during this crusade in jesus name begin to pray and declare it begin to prophesy 
begin to shout great power. Great power. Maka sete ribobo. Maka sete ribobo. Reke sete ribobo. Yeke sete ribobo. Maka sete ribobo. Leke sete ribobo. Great power. Great power. Mama Kasete, great power to heal, great power to save, great authority. Makasete ribobo, rekesete rekobobo, makasete, gekesete kerobobo koro lokosite, makasete riakababa. Great power, great authority, great power. The world will come with power, hands will be laid with power. Makesete ribobo, all the ministries will power. Bakasete ribobo, makasete, yekesete riakadababa, makarelokosete ribobo. Riko bobo kosete yeke shete ria kababa makaroko bobo 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 shido yeke shete riba bobo. In Jesus' name we pray. Actually, uh, let me just let's add this prayer. You see, when the people are going home with all the things that they've been given, clothing, different things, let there be in those things power. Amen. That things they'll say, what is this? And they'll begin to hear the word of God. They begin to remember the things that were said unto them. So begin to pray. For everything they take away, it, within it there shall be great power. Makasata ribobo. People will go away with bags of rice and discover that there is great power embedded in them. Mama, 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 mama. Yeke reke shete bobo. Makaraka robobo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let there be rejoicing. Let there be singing in this place because we have achieved that. Great power and great grace. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. Oh, Christ's compassion to the rural world shall be resounding, shall be victorious, shall be filled with great power. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, get excited. Put your hands together. Give somebody a high five. Tell them you are part of it. Makashete ribobo. Yeke robobo koshite. Hallelujah. 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 I see an army and I'm part of that army. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, the King of Him. Put your hands together again for the King of Kings. The deliverer. The conqueror. The I am that I am. Hallelujah. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank God it's happening in my lifetime. Thank God I'm part of it. I will continue to be part of it. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I don't know. Hug yourself. <laughs> Give yourself a hug. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Let's just prepare our hearts to give to the Lord. <clears throat> it's such a wonderful time to give to him. The Bible, I like that scripture that says, Serve the Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your might, with everything that's in it. But the Bible also says something. <clears throat> it says, You shall serve the Lord. You shall honor the Lord with your substance. It's a time to use, especially at, on such a night like this. This is why we worship. This is why we give. That his world and his kingdom shall be established. So let us just prepare. This is a good time to give your tithe, to give your offering, and to do so cheerfully. When the choir is leading us, I want us to, 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 to stand up and let there be a dance, a rejoicing. Because yes, we are giving and we shall be giving joyfully. And the Lord will meet us at the point of honor. All the prayers we've prayed for them, they shall resound unto us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us give.
visible God, mighty in splendor. Hallelujah, mighty in splendor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, stretch your hands towards the offering you've given. Oh, begin to give your offering an assignment but even as a token of the prayers we've said tonight father we thank you god we thank you for the offerings we've given lord they shall be your god as a token as a memorial for this day we've given unto you god because we've given oh god it shall come back to us good measure pressed down shaken together in our lives there shall be deliverance there shall be provision we are believing you for great things oh god for financial testimonies oh god for financial victories oh god for promotions at work for increase oh god in our lives in our children's lives in the lives of our friends in jesus name we pray amen and amen and amen put your hands together again for the king the king i love him the king of kings and the lord of lords hallelujah 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 we'll just take a few announcements you may be seated in god's presence i feel like continuing to pray and we shall continue to pray the prayer is not ending i want you to continue to pray for the crusade hallelujah hallelujah so let us continue to pray. We've gathered tonight. Let's continue to pray. And it shall be awesome in Jesus' name. Um, there shall be no evening service at KICC Prayer City on Sunday, the 12th of November. No evening service next Sunday. Hallelujah. Winning Women's Convention. Get ready. Get ready for this year's unmissable winning women's convention with the theme drive come and learn how to balance all of life's demands on you as a woman of faith join our host pastor Yemisi Ashimolowo alongside remarkable women of God who will empower you with the word we have Dr. Michelle McKinney Hammond Dr. Ibukun Awoshika Apostle Francina Norman, Pastor Christine, Christy Bature, uh, featuring also business and career, health and well-being, family matters, image consulting, and lots of exciting interactive activities. There will also be a business fair and networking opportunities. The dates for the conference are Thursday the 23rd to Sunday the 26th of November at KICC Prayer City and the session starts 6.30 on Friday to Sunday and 10 a.m. daily for, for Sunday. Hallelujah. And then there is a business fair as part of that. You can showcase your products and your business for £150 uh, and take up a space for that. Also the polo shirts and the t-shirts um, while stocks last, t-shirt is 10 pounds, t-shirt is 10 pounds, and polo is 15 pounds. And the last day for ordering is Monday, the 13th, November 2023. Amen. On the Sunday of the Women's Conference, on the 29th of November, there will be one joint Super Sunday service. In prayer city at 10 a.m. There will be no service in land of wonders. Amen. Also, also, um, those of us who are those of us, those of us who are part of Winning Women's Choir are free to come back. <laughs> Amen. So the music department is extending an invitation beyond the spare of those who are in the department to come and join the choir. Amen. Also, there's a need for men during the conference to try and support the King's Kids. Just volunteer. They will give you the support, the training. We don't want our women to have to, 
our mothers to have to spend all the time. They want some men to also volunteer so that they can release the women to be part of the conference. Amen. Christmas Connects 2023. The wonders of Christmas. There shall be a Christmas carol. Uh, join Pastor Matthew in, connect, in conjunction with the churches together in Medway for this year's Christmas Carol concert with special guests, Nikki Gumbel. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be special. The primary school carol singing competition, Salvation Army, Community Choir, and KICC Choir, and more. So why not start the festive season with a Christmas concert? Amen. Morning Glow continues as usual. Pastor Matthew has said that even through the time of the um, crusade, there shall be morning glow. So let us be part of it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If you're here and it's your first time with us in KIC, can I just see you signify by raising your hand if you're here for the first time in any KICC event or amen. Anyone who is here for the first time? Uh, okay. God bless you all. Let's stand up as we... Yes. Okay, or if you're, if you're also online joining us, please can you go to um, our website, kicc.org.uk forward slash contact and register your detail. Pastor Matthew will write to you during the course of the week and we'll know that you have been blessed by joining. As I said, let's continue to pray for the crusade. It shall be victorious. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace today in fellowship. You know, I want us to know that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is what we have and we share at such a time as this. It unifies us. It, it's, it's special. He left it for us to, to, to edify us and build us together. Let us just share the grace together. The grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. See you in morning glow. God bless you. Continue to pray for the crusade. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. We're glad you watched today's service. For prayer, call 0 -0 or text to share your testimony. Prayer works at Prayer City. See you next time.